Lady Bucks, an old-time regional foe, Chattanooga, former SoCon rival and former stomping ground of head coach Karen Camp. Lady Bucks in the second half down by a bundle, but Maria Bond with another double-figure performance trying to get them back into it. And Gwen Washington, how about the senior? Promised Coach Kemp a special game, lit it up with 18 points. 19, though, for Megan Downs. She hits a three there. This midway through the second half, Aisha Robinson will answer Downs, and Destiny Mitchell then will take it upon herself down in the post, goes up strong, and one. She'll hit the free throw, double figures for Mitchell as well. 14 points, eight rebounds, left block. Mitchell strong to the hoop again on the fast break. And then how about the second chance point, grabs the offensive board and the putback for Destiny. Chelsea Bowling, first action as a Lady Buck. First three is a Lady Buck for the Elizabethan native, but Downs would answer on the other end. She hit four of them in the second half. Here's Sean Randall up with a left-handed layup, no good, but a rebound and a putback again by Washington, continuing to battle. Watch this great play. Brianna Bogard reads this play and then draws the foul on the fast break from Alex Black. Let's take another look at it. Here's Bogard, and you see where she is as she just kind of flashes out, gets the, I mean, like a couple of molecules of a fingertip on this one and is able to go to the free throw line. She'd make the first one, and then Tasha Austin boxing out and putting up the three-point play effectively on the rebound and then drew the foul there. Lady Bucks down two until Gwen Washington ties them at 72. They came back from a 14-point deficit, but Kayla Christopher with a big three, the nail in the coffin, and that would do it as Chattanooga inches away and winds up winning by eight, 88-80 to 80 inside the dome. At ETSU MSHA Center, John Stevens. <laughs> 